What is up, YouTube? It is the Villa Outdoors here. Today is June 12th of 2020. As of yesterday, we are on the break of 200 subscribers. We are just 11 subscribers away from hitting the big 200 mark. So thank you guys for all the support since this channel started up. And today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of multi-species fishing. The creek, there's a fish, there's a fish. The creek is a little bit cleaner than um, the last time I tried creek fishing. So we got our first fish of the day right here, a little smallmouth bass, not the biggest one you'll ever see, but that is our first fish of the day, a little small jaw. All right guys, time to release our little smallmouth here. He came on the little trout magnet. Nice light colored smallmouth. Just go ahead and release them just like that. And then we're gonna get back in there. That's our first species of the day. I'm sure there'll be more species to come later in the day. We still got a while to go. We just started off, so. Still have a lot of fishing to do. That fish came right on the break of this current here on the little gold and black trout magnet with a uh, chartreuse 164th ounce jig head. All right, we got fish numero doso here. A little bluegill. That is species number two for the day. Right where I was yeah, I casted it right where you were at, basically. I think it's the color. There we go. Nice bluegill. I would take a couple of those weights off if you can. Maybe not all of them. But yes, that is species number two for the day. There are a bunch of other species of sunfish in here. Guys, we got another fish here. It's actually a trout. Holy cow. Did not think we were gonna catch a trout. My cousin says I'm cheating. That is species number three for the day. If I don't lose them here. All right, guys, this thing even on. That is our rainbow trout right there. I was not thinking I was gonna catch one because they've been stocked a while ago and luckily there's still a little rainbow left. So that's our third species of the day. We're just gonna go ahead and revive them right here. He wasn't out of the water for too, too long. Hopefully he's all right. He's got a little blood on his nose from where I hooked him, but he should be okay after I revive him a little bit. Yep, there he goes. Swim back into the water. All right, guys, we are back at the creek. We took a quick intermission to get my cousin strapped up with a new rod, but he is all set to go now. And we're gonna get him on some fish now. Still throwing the trout magnet, nothing's changed there. He's got one on his rod too. I'm just cast onto this bridge in the shade. Hoping that there'll be a little, a little bass or something under this bridge. All right, guys, we got fish on. Looks like a little, little rock bass. That is going to be species number four for the day. After that little trout, pretty looking fish. These guys will attack just about anything they can fit in their mouths. Very aggressive fish. See if we can get them unhooked here. All right, hook is out. There he is. Little guy. Still a cool fish. All right, little release of our rock bass right here. Oof, he's ready to go. On, he's aggressive. That's the first time I've seen a rock bass jump like that. There we go, guys. This fat rock bass right here. It's been in quarantine a little too long, eating too many potato chips on the couch. He needs to get out and exercise because he is plump. Fat belly. Nice rock bass. How does that even happen? Pretty slow since we left that bridge haven't caught much. We have seen some fish, but 
haven't caught many so right now we're just gonna walk further deeper into the creek and get to some of the unpressured spots that nobody really fishes ever and then we're gonna hopefully be reeling them in left and right so we just got to find the spots where they're stocking up at and then just keep casting and we'll be catching guys we got a fish on it's right now swimming in between my legs it's a little bit better of a smallmouth. It's a fat one. There we go. That is a smallmouth bass right there, not a giant, but he is plump and healthy. So we're gonna go ahead and just let him plop back into the water. Pattern for the day, how we're catching these smallmouth, rock bass, trout, etc. Everything we've caught today, we've been basically doing the same thing looking for deep pockets inside or outside of current and just steady reeling in the trout magnet maybe jigging it once or twice to give a little more pop and action to it but basically all these fish have been caught using the same exact trout magnet the same golden black one i was using earlier i use the trout magnet a lot on this channel but it's truly a great multi-species lure and will work for pretty much any fish in any creek. Ooh, I just had one pop at it right on the surface. I don't know if you guys saw that on camera, but that was right in here. Yep, he got it, he got it, he got it. What is that, what is that? Oh, it's a trout, oh. It's gone. That might've been a brown trout, guys. Like a rainbow, I saw red on the belly. Really? Yeah. So Man, that fish isn't coming back. That's the first time I've ever seen the trout all the way down here. I mean, we we're down far, far from where they stocked at. So that is pretty interesting to see a trout right here. And it actually went up and hit it twice. That was probably the fish that popped at it the first time because it ate on the surface both times. That was wild. On. This looks like a nicer rock bass. Yep. That is the old rock bass that you saw earlier today. They are pretty decent size in this creek. Not a giants or citation size, but there we go. Nice, beautiful rock bass. Just gonna throw them in a backflip in the water. My cousin's got a log fish right now. Yeah. Endangered species in this part of the town, so you gotta let them go as soon as you hook them. Another species on the day coming up. This one I'm surprised we haven't seen yet. It is a red breast sunfish. Pretty cool colors on these guys. Probably one of the more colorful sunfish. Pennsylvania along with the pumpkin seed. Let's see if we can get him unhooked here. There he is. Nice little red breast sunfish. He actually has a little leech or something on his tail. Get it out of here. Save him. We're gonna take a quick picture. See that? All right, we got the leech off his tail. He's, oh, he's fired up and ready to go. Now he doesn't have something feeding off his tail. If it's a new species for the day or not, it is not. That is the smallest smallmouth bass I probably have ever caught. That is a dinkster for sure. Just gotta hold it close to the camera so it looks bigger. But that is very small. That's probably in the three inch range. Here, I think it's another species. Yes sir, fall fish. A little silver guy. Let's see if he's gonna stay still for us. There he is, not the biggest one you've seen, but 
that is the fall fish. Pretty little guy. Nice silvery colors. Let's get a picture of him and let him go. In today's video, that is going to do it for us today. We ended up with six different species and a surprise trout. It is June 12th. The water temperatures are high, so I wasn't expecting that, but that was a very welcome catch. All species came on the trout magnet right there. Truly a multi-species lure. If you want to see a tutorial on how I rig the trout magnet, what gear I use, and other stuff on how to work a trout magnet, I'll leave that video in the end screen, and you can watch that right there. And other than that, thank you guys for all the support you've been giving me recently, and I'll see you on the next episode of The Ville Outdoors. Be sure to like and subscribe.